In this video, I will show you, how to zoom in. Pause. And zoom out in iMovie. I will show this demo, using two kind of file, video, and still image. This is a 25 seconds long, video clip. Let's take this to timeline. I play this video briefly. It's about a glass of juice being filled. First, you have to separate the clip, on which you will apply all these zoom in, pause, and zoom out. It have to be a single clip at first. I will apply these effects on the middle part. First few seconds will be as it is. I will split the clip at the playhead using command V. We'll do the same at the end. As I have separated out the clip, I will first apply Ken Burns, on the whole clip. This clip is around 16 seconds long. With the clip selected, click on the crop icon, and select Ken Burns. Now, you see two rectangular area. One for start, and other for end. To understand, start is selected, or, end is selected, look for these, bold, white, corners. I am happy, with the start area. Want to zoom into, the glass. So we'll set the end, to the glass. I will drag, and resize, the end corners, to the area I want. Let's set the end R to the glass. Now I am happy, with this position. Ok, let's play to see what is happening. Hmm, it is zooming into slowly. Now let's split the area of zoom in, pause and zoom out, in this clip. First, I will split the clip for zoom in to take effect. If I want zoom in for 4 seconds, I will clip at that point. To split, I will go to modify, and split clip, or command B in keyboard. You see, it is 3.9 seconds long. If I am not happy with the time length, I will undo, and split at correct time again. Let's undo, and split in a different point. Now it is 4.8 seconds long. I am ok with this split. Next split point will be, for pause and zoom out. Let's split, at this point. Now, pause is 6 and half seconds long, and zoom out is 5 seconds long. I am happy with this split. Remember, if you are not ok with split length, undo, and split again. For video, adjusting length by dragging, will have some glitch. To avoid that glitch, undo, and split again. I am ok with this split, and let's move on. For zoom in clip, I will keep it, as it is. For pause clip, select the clip, go to crop, and click on swap start in the end areas button. Now start and end area, is swapped. Click on crop to fill button. The pause clip will show, only that portion. Last thing we will do, select the zoom out clip, and click on swap start in the end areas button. Let's play the clip and see how it looks. It is zooming in now. It is in paused clip now. It has started zooming out now. This was how to add zoom in, pause, and zoom out effects on video. We will now see. How to add these effects on image. I will delete these clips from timeline, and import the image.
Let's take this image to timeline. When an image is added in a movie timeline, by default Ken Burns is applied with 4 seconds. Let's see how the default Ken Burns look. Ok, first I will drag the image. I'm making it for 6 seconds to appear on screen. I will go to crop, Ken Burns, and swap the start and end areas. I am ok with start area. I will set the end area to these texts. It's time to split clip 4, zoom in, pause and zoom out, as I have applied Ken Burns to the whole clip. Let's split here for zoom and clip. Let's split at this point B for pause and zoom out. Now keep the zoom in as it is. In the pause clip, swap start and end areas. Crop to fill. Then select the zoom out clip. And swap the start and end areas. We are all set. Let's see how it looks. That was all for this video. Please give like if this helps you. Thanks for watching.